Hello everyone. We are going to discuss about site reinforcement. What is called the site reinforcement? Site reinforcement are the reinforcement we provide at the site faces of a section. In a section, now we have a reinforcements like this. Say for example, raft foundation. Raft foundation we have a reinforcement like this to carry the bending and shear forces. In addition to that, you might have seen reinforcement provided like this. These reinforcements are called the side reinforcement. Why we need to provide this kind of rain? The prime important purpose of this reinforcement is to control the cracking of the section. Now, if you take an enlarged view of this section, the section will be like this. You have a side reinforcement at the corner, will be like this. There will be another bar, will be like this. Now, if you can see here, when this gap exceeds certain level, that is required for the controlling cracking. If this gap increases that requirement for crack controlling, there will be cracks in the section like this. To control this cracking, we provide the side reinforcement like this. So if you have a side reinforcement, then this cracking won't happen because the tensile stresses developed in this direction will be bared by these bars. So the important thing we need to remember is that we need to provide the side reinforcement to control the cracking. You, if you have provide these two bar only, there will be an issue. Now, how to determine this spacing? As a design requirement, there are reinforcement spacing. So, we find this spacing based on the design requirement. In addition to that, we find the minimum reinforcement. Minimum reinforcement requirement. That's for crack control. Crack controlling. Crack controlling, we find the minimum requirement. So this requirement have to be there at the side face of the section also. If you provide the reinforcement in this this calculation T25 at 156 millimeter for the design requirement, and if you need T16 T16 at 150 millimeter for crack controlling, then you have to provide this area here at the side face. Now, the crack control and requirement is T16 at 150, so that you have to provide at the side face of the section. Now, this situation will rise in the raft foundations, foundations for the base slab of a wall foundation, because there are different situations, we meet this situation. In beams also, we have to provide the side reinforcement, but that have we discussed in a separate video, you might refer to that video. You might watch that video because in the beams also there when this height is exit generally according to the British standard when this height exceeds 750 then we have to provide the side reinforcement for the beam sections also somewhere there so these crack control requirements are there in the beams also we have a separate video for that you I suggest to watch that video for better understanding of this today we concentrated on the side face reinforcement of a section so I hope that now it's clear to you the method of determining the side reinforcement requirement. And with that, we are going to end the today's lesson. Please subscribe our YouTube channel for more information on new videos after to the our channel. Thank you very much for watching our videos.